Hey, I'm Lou. And I'm Tess. And today on Dirty Talk Dating, we have Zach Perlman. Yay. Hey, Zach. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, that's the most <laughs> awful handshake. <laughs> For those of you who haven't, <laughs> who aren't familiar with the famous Zach Perlman, he's very famous. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I think you used two words that just don't know. The famous yeah. Zach Perlman. Zach Perlman was in a major motion picture. What? Yeah. What, mo what, what motion picture was that? It was called The Virginity Hit, Mr. Interviewer. Uh, <laughs> hey man, my research is my life, alright? <laughs> so let's talk about virgins. Yeah. Okay. Well. I haven't been one of those since 2006. <laughs> yeah! Oh, good connect. Still, still that stiff hand, <laughs> though. Uh, that was awful. No, that's you're, how... you're supposed to just hit the roll <laughs> and trick <laughs> that. Yeah. Whatever that is. Oh no, <laughs> man, that's how virgins high five. Oh. oh. Wait, you're a virgin? Yes. Wow. See what I did there? Internet? Mm -hmm. how, how, old, uh, how old were you when you lost your virginity? I was 18. 18? I waited for my girlfriend to turn 18 just in case she, uh... Yeah. So statutory. I was seriously, like, really afraid that... <laughs> She was gonna get pregnant the first time we had sex. Well, did you do it without a condom? No, I was just an idiot. When I was a virgin, um, yeah, I had like this like, uh, almost like a personal sexual revolution when I broke up with my first girlfriend. Cause I was, I was really big. I used to be like a hundred pounds heavier, like a lot bigger. And right when I broke up with my first girlfriend- Were they all freckles too? All, the freckles were huge. The freckles look like pepperonis. <laughs> they just look like pepperonis on my arms. This, this is the shrinking effect. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I was a lot bigger, and so I stopped eating when my girlfriend broke up with me. Like I just like I lost it. Mm -hmm. um, what did, what did, was she? Was she also? Um, no, she was very petite and skinny, and I was like, oh, I'm never gonna have a girlfriend again. He's the only person who's gonna love me. Oh. Then I remembered that. I love myself, and that's like a ridiculous notion. Because people will love you as much as you it's love yourself. It's the greatest yourself. love of all. Yeah, of course. Right. You, you, there's no... Good one. Whitney. Whitney. Whit what? Good one. So now you're older and wiser. Well, older, wiser, and more now... myself than I've ever been. How long ago so was was this breakup? Because you're a young guy. 2008, and it was like a year and a half ago. That was your first girlfriend. Yeah, we dated for a long that? time. We dated for a How long time. How many years was that? Four, four years? Wow. A long time. Wow, man. Um, you still talk? No. No? No. Did something bad happen? Uh, no, I mean, you know, we're just different really people. You're really going for it. You're time really no, going for like uh, opening different, up. Different people. Different, different people now. You did different people now. You grew. We, we are different. It happens. Yeah. It's sad, man. You ever want it back? No. You don't think about it ever? <laughs> just like wanting it back? Really don't want it. Just like, oh man, just put all the bad stuff. Away. Just put it all away. We're, we're different now. Take, Maybe you know we just make each other. Okay. I'm not gonna get back with you. You're you not gonna get back with me. No. Okay. I think it's really unprofessional that you try and bring. Look, it I up. turned into a into a guy. Four years. That's what happens. Yeah. Well, I don't Everyone's want a guy. Changed. I want a man. You want a man. You don't just want a guy. No, I don't want a guy. Well, I am a guy. Yeah. So I don't want you. I could change. No, you can't. Zach, I could change. That's literally you saying you can't change. You're like, now I'm a guy. You were always a guy, okay? Once a guy, always a guy. I know that. Try loving yourself. I want you to start eating again. Shade. I want you to start eating again. I don't want I to. I want you to be, be the same chubby guy with big pepperoni freckles, and I want to be a guy. Well, where I was trying to go is mm -hmm. in betweeners. Oh. Older, wiser. Yeah, I play this kid, Jay Cartwright. He's a real idiot. He is a like class A, talks a giant talk, is like the leader of his friend group, but like outside of his friends is like can't say a word to girls, just like fumbles over himself. He'll he'll never admit it. Yeah. But uh he I don't know, he's he's a great he's a fun character to play because he's very uh he's very strange. <laughs> there's just there's just a lot of like uh, universal themes that I think will resonate. And also, it's written by guys who have arrested development, so that's oh, pretty good. Oh, so yeah. it's, pretty it's awesome. probably damn good. It's pretty <laughs> awesome. I think the biggest uh, takeaway from in-betweeners that a lot of people, um, I think that will resonate with a lot of people is that the high school experience is pretty universal. You know, it sucks. You don't know how to talk to 
people of the opposite sex. Don't know what you're gonna do. There are always people who've been in like, uh, who've been dating since like freshman year, mm -hmm. and then they go to college, and then that gets all fucked up. And mm -hmm. like, you have a crush that you've had for your entire life, and you try and go for it, and then it just fails miserably. And then, and then like some black guy knocks her up. I didn't get knocked up by a black guy, okay? I'm just dating a black guy. It's very different, Lou. All right, man. All right. Well, the takeaway that I'm getting from what you're telling about your character yeah. is, is in high school, a lot of time you don't, when people are fronting like they have more experience or whatever, or even beyond high school, it's because they have other stuff that they think they have to compensate for or hide and there's other things going on. Certainly. And I think a huge part of that, and this is even to bring back to what we were talking about earlier, is mm -hmm. you kind of lose those insecurities once you start to uh, honestly love yourself. When you used to. I'm uh, at Zach Perlman on uh, Twitter. That's Z A C K P E A R L M A N. Uh, you can watch the in betweeners. Check in the link below. I'd say check in the link below. You're pointing at something magical. <laughs> um, and uh, what else? Um, have love yourself. That's the bit. Oh, that is, oh it's the bit. Mm, just love yourself. Just love yourself. Thanks for checking out this episode. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thanks for checking out this episode of Dirty Talk Dating. If you would like to, I don't know what's happening over here. If you'd like to comment on this video, oh man, email us at dirtytalkdating at gmail.com or tweet us at Dirty Talk Dating or you can tweet me at Tess Paras. And you can tweet me at Lou on the Subway. And my head is sitting. Thanks so much. And like and favorite this video. Because Zach will stay that way if you don't. <laughs> <laughs>